My wife is addicted to the gym and it's ruining our marriage. My wife of 8 years is 30 years old and she's always worked out and been in shape, but lately I, 32 male, feel like it's becoming very excessive. She used to regularly work out at a gym when she was in college. At some point she stopped going to the gym, I think lately just due to her schedule, and preferred to work out at home or go for runs outside. About 18 months ago she announced she was going to get back into the habit of going to the gym. She now had a job where she's able to make more time for it. It started off normal, but slowly became more and more frequent. She signed up for classes on the weekends, both days, she started going to the gym every day, then it became the morning before work and then again later in the evening. Every single day. If she's stressed, she goes to the gym. Experience some sort of life crisis. She immediately heads to the gym. We have an argument, runs to the gym. She's four months pregnant right now. I'm kind of surprised we even had time to make a kid. I understand that it's safe for her to work out, especially since she was already in the habit of doing it before she got pregnant, but the intensity is not slowing down. If she misses one of her normal gym sessions she becomes so irritable, like a junkie not getting her fix. It's just bizarre. Truly a case of too much of a good thing. Of course she gets upset when I voice that I feel it's becoming an unhealthy obsession and that I miss spending time with her because she's there so much. She has all of these friends and this whole circle of people there that she seems to prefer spending time with over me. Why don't we work out together at the gym? The gym is her time, she says. This isn't a case of me feeling insecure because she's in great physical shape and I'm a fat slob. I work out and am in shape, my job really requires me to stay in shape so I can't let myself go even if I wanted to. I genuinely feel her gym habits are unhealthy. She's over-exercising, for one. There is such a thing. But worse than that, I feel it's becoming a way for her to escape everything else in her life. She never actually fixed anything that goes wrong in her life. She just runs off to the gym to get some sort of mood boost and then that's it. She also never gets anything else done in a practical sense because how can she when she's at the gym so often? It's to the point where I have to do every chore and if food is getting made I'm going to have to do it. I don't expect her to do all of those things, but it should at least be a shared effort. People we know have even commented about it to me. They've said things about how she seems different, how she sure is at the gym a lot, and many of her friends and family barely see her anymore. Some have even suggested she's having an affair with somebody there. Please tell me that this doesn't sound normal to you. She insists this is perfectly normal. Update, I truly didn't think she was cheating on me. People suggested it in the last thread and I laughed. You can tell she's at the gym a lot, she's in great shape. So she's obviously going there. I felt really confident about the cheating issue and when I posted 9 days ago I wasn't even considering cheating. I'm embarrassed to admit that after reading a lot of the comments on my last post, I thought maybe I was being overly confident about her fidelity. She usually always has her phone on her, but she left it in the kitchen counter and as stupid as I felt, I decided to do a quick swipe through her texts. She had a current text conversation going on with a guy. I recognized the name. The same name of a guy from the gym she mentions a lot. She's friends with a lot of people there, went to one of their weddings last fall. I wasn't too terribly concerned until I started reading the texts. Never wanted to know what the guy's schlong looked like, but I know now. She was only out of the room for literally about a minute or two, so I had to scroll fast. I was furious. I asked her what the heck that conversation was about. She started yelling at me for looking at her phone. I told her she's acting so weird and the gym obsession was really bothering me so I just decided to look, and was ashamed that I did, but that's when I thought I'd find nothing. She said it's nothing. It's nothing. Didn't look like nothing to me. She sure seemed pretty interested in this nothing. I wanted to know if she's been screwing him. For how long? She kept saying no. I left the house because I was so furious, but not before I slammed her phone on the ground and shattered it. She was calling me all sorts of names for breaking her phone. She hit me on the back as hard as she could. I left. Went to my brother's house. My brother and sister-in-law were shocked, although my sister-in-law was one of the most vocal ones about my wife's gym obsession being weird and bringing it up to me constantly. I went home. She was in bed crying. She obviously couldn't call me or anyone else for that matter. She was laying it on thick, I didn't know if you'd ever come home. Give me a break. I took her phone to get repaired tonight. She doesn't deserve it but I still feel like a jerk breaking her phone. I still don't know how deep it goes. She won't admit to anything beyond what I saw. Was it dirty texting, bad enough, or more? I'm convinced it was a lot more, but she refuses to hand over her phone and is now trying to act like I'm this terrible monster who is hurting her because I broke her phone. Not my proudest moment, but I honestly wanted to body slam her after she punched me. I have never and would never actually touch her like that. Edit to add, I will get a paternity test. I already told her to expect it. Everyone can stop giving me that advice now.